Okay, in this video, I'd like to talk about the zero point energy in our quantum linear harmonic oscillator 1D. So, we, we said in a previous video, and I called it the lowest energy wave function, that we had a minimum energy, and the minimum energy was h bar omega over 2. And I said that this basically was non zero, clearly, and I, I said a couple of things about it. So, we know that the lowest energy of a quantum mechanical system is called the ground state, and this is a consequence of the uncertainty principle. So, if a system was motionless, in other words, the energy was equal to zero, then both the, the uncertainty of position and the uncertainty of momentum would be completely known, as in they'd be zero. So, this implies that a system must have an energy which is greater than a minimum value. And we saw that with h bar omega over 2. So, how do we work out that this is, co with, is consistent with the uncertainty principle? So, we know that the uncertainty principle states the following. It says delta x, delta p, uh, that's approximately h bar over root 2, or h bar over 2, depending on what it is, you know, it's approximately that. So what we need to do is find out the position, uh, the uncertainty in position and momentum in our quantum system, and put them together and see what happens. Alright, so what we'll do is the following. We know the potential energy is 1 half times kx squared. I'm going to say it's x naught to be squared, by the way. And we know that's equal to h bar omega over 2. So let's get rid of the halves. That means x naught squared is equal to h bar omega over k. Okay, now but what is k? I know that k is equal to m omega squared, like that. So you're going to plug that in. Cancel the omegas, h bar over m omega. That means that x naught is equal to h bar over m omega square root. Alright, that's what x naught is. What, how is that any good to us? And I'm going to show you how that's, how that's of some use to us now in a moment. Let's look at the uncertainty in position. If I say this position here is the center position, okay? And we'll say either side of it, at its full width, or its full width and half maximum, we'll say it's x naught here, x naught here, and I define this as 2 times delta x. That means delta x is approximately x naught. Okay, delta x approximately x naught. That's what I, That's the definition I'm going to make. So that's the uncertainty I'm going to say in position is the uncertainty of position is approximately x naught. Now let's look at the uncertainty of momentum. So what is momentum? Momentum p is equal to mass times velocity, or is equal to mass times the first derivative of position. So I'm not going to prove this. I suppose it's it's pretty straightforward classical uh, classic mechanics. But that x is equal to x naught times the sine of omega t. That means that we have here, we have m times x naught times cos omega t times omega. Alright, that's p. So how do we get the average of p? Well, what's the average of cos? Well, if we draw a cos, it looks, I can't remember, I can't remember its exact, uh, its phase shift, but it's something like that. So look, half it's above the line and half it's below. So the average of cos is equal to zero. And that's no good to us because, well, that would mean that our uncertainty is zero. So what I'm going to do is going to get p r m s. So we're going to square the whole thing and get the square root. So m squared, x naught squared, cos squared, and we have omega squared here. The average of cos squared is one half, and that's something you're just going to have to accept. If you want to know exactly why it is, you should ask a mathematician. So that means that p r m s is equal to m omega x naught over root two. All right. But what's x naught? We found that out earlier on, x naught was equal to uh, the square root of h bar over m omega. Like that. Alright? That's p r m s. So now I'm going to say that's equal to delta p. So now it's delta p, delta x is equal to m omega over root 2 times h bar over m omega square root it, times delta x. I would say x naught, which I said a moment ago was h bar over m omega. So now I can just get, get rid of the square root here, if I get rid of this. Alright, so m omega goes like this, and we get h bar over root 2. Which is consistent with the uncertainty principle. So, thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, and subscribe to my channel.